Eric from PhoneScoop here with the HTC Touch for Sprint. The Sprint version of the Touch looks almost exactly like the GSM version that we showed you earlier this year. Hardware-wise, they're very similar, except Sprint's Touch needs to have a CDMA radio instead of the GSM radio in this one. No surprise there. However, there have also been some software improvements, and we'll spend a little time showing you that after we give you a tour. At the top of the touch is the speaker, which has an LED indicator behind it. There's the QVGA touch screen. The soft buttons are actually part of the screen. There aren't separate hardware buttons for that. A send and end key, a D-pad, and a large center select button. On the left side, there's a volume slider. On the bottom, a USB port, a microphone. On this side, there's actually a port to get at the SD card. However, you need to remove the back to do so. The good news is, removing the back is now much easier than it used to be on the original GSM Touch. This is a 2 megapixel camera and at the top is a power button that's also used to turn the screen on and off. The TouchFlow home screen has been updated with some sprint specific shortcuts. So in addition to the message counter, the weather, the application launcher, and the ringer profiles that this had before, there's now also a shortcut to the phone dialer, Sprint's music store, a new photo album that we'll show you in just a moment, Windows Live Search, and a version of Sprint TV that's been made specifically for the Pocket PC platform that this runs on. If we open up the photo album, you can see that it's a landscape application, and there's been a couple of changes to this version, improvements that are supposed to take advantage of the touch screen. So if we go into, let's say, this picture of somebody's dog, if we use our finger and start rotating the photo around and go a quarter of the way, it'll actually spin the photo. So we can keep doing that. It's also got a zoom and pan mode built in that uses your finger as well. Now, we've noticed that with this mode, you actually have to use your fingernail, and as you can see, I don't have very large ones. But if you take your fingernail and you make a clockwise circle that's a complete circle, it will actually zoom in to the area that you made a circle around. So if I try and make a circle around the doggy's ear, it'll zoom in and then refine it. Now to zoom back out I can make a counterclockwise circle or I can double tap and just like with the iPhone I should be able to flick from photo to photo however like I said it doesn't work very well with the fingertip if you use your nail it works much better The other thing that Sprint and HTC have done is they've added a new larger keyboard that's much more thumb friendly to the Sprint version of the touch. So if we go into messaging and we try and start a new message, which is You can see that there's a 20 down here, and this indicates that we're ready to use the 20 key keyboard. So we can tap on it, and you'll see right now it's in XT9 mode. That is predictive text. This also has a non-predictive mode where you have to double tap. We'll get back to the XT9 mode and try and give this the phone scoop test. Not bad, huh? There's also a second version of this new keyboard that comes up that has a key for each letter. 
It comes up during times when you're entering in um, passwords into the screen. So if we go into something that requires a password, like say the IMM application requires one to sign on, and then we click on the password. When we click on the 20, we don't get a 20 key keyboard, but one with a unique button for every number and letter. The only problem is whenever you put your finger over a letter to press the key, you've covered up both the key and a lot of the ones around it. So you're never really sure what you're hitting. We really like this form factor. And the XT9 keyboard does work well for some messaging situations. However, the touch is not the messaging powerhouse that some of the other Windows Mobile 6 phones on Sprint are.